So lately we've been getting these Keith Murray stories from the 90s. I wouldn't say everybody's been eating it up. It's been like 50-50. But when you're in the hip-hop algorithm, it's kind of in your face. So he's been telling us all these stories about his um, private life and what he's been doing sexually with people in the industry. This nigga talk too much, in my opinion. And you know a nigga about to start talking. When they start a story off like this. And God bless the dead. I ain't gonna say nothing but at the Apollo DMX. So we already know what type of nigga he is. And bloggers have been taking advantage of the fact that he's talking. It's not like Keith Murray is like the most successful rapper from his era, but he did have a moment. And I think his moment was significant. I think uh, EPMD and them was producing for him. In this world. And he did do something different. I did like, I always loved how Eric Sermon and Parrish produces. And um, he did have a moment. I just wish that the interviewers would stick to that. But then I had to remember, Keith Murray, he do be on clown shit. Jump in this grave, you cheeseburger bitch. And if Sticky jump in, he gets a buck for these sticks. Okay, I take that comment back because... That wasn't exactly clown shit. That was him being erratic and being full of energy. And he always gave me a little bit of Caucasian, like as far as his wild side. He was always wild and full of energy and full of life. You could look in his eyes and tell he's a little fucking crazy, like it's there for us to see. <laughs> the clown shit comes in when he starts talking about the cats he'd been snacking on 30 years ago. Bomb, boo, boo, de wop, de, 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 boom. <laughs> what up? You know what I'm saying? But with me, yo, your head. Ah, mm, ate the Okay, fine. Keith Murphy's in his bag. You know what I'm saying? You figure this will last this week and then we'll be done. The black community has a very short attention span. We won't be bringing this up except for like holidays or something like that. Now Nori decides he wants to take on this interview. So I had to give myself a moment to really think about what happens right here. Number one, we do need a Keith Murray interview on Drink Champs, but we don't want to go too far into the mess. The messy shit is unnecessary. The The details of what people are doing in the bedroom to me is useless information. Absolutely useless information. I'd rather know what was Keith Murray's struggles when did he turn to drugs? How many times he's been in and out of rehab? How has life been dealing with that? The projects that have succeeded, the projects that have failed. Yo, Keith, what's going on? What's going on is I'm thinking about the past, present, and future. So, so what's um what's next for Keith Murray right now? Album called Beautifully Ugly, produced okay. by Eric Sermon. Now, I don't think you get enough credit with, for that flow that you brought to the game. A good man is never on it in his own Yankee. Okay. Bob Marley. That, that the projects that we have never heard about, um, his, his thoughts about what he can do in the future. Does he have any plans to make any music? There's so much that we can delve into on the musical side of things and on the industry side of things. He can also enlighten us on his pay, his contracts, how it was working, you know, with others back then, the studios, um, releasing music, like th that type of information. You feel me? So we could definitely step 
the quality of the content up. Uh, I'm not going to mention, I was going to talk about the ladies and what they have said in response to what he's been blabbing his mouth about, but everybody he's mentioned is doing quite well in life. They're very progressive in life and they're focused on their businesses. That's a fact. I mean, we can speak about the ladies in separate blogs, highlighting their respective careers. But other than that, I don't have anything else to add to it. I am looking for Forward to the Noriega um, interview. I just hope it's not a messy mess. And I said, guys, what do you guys think about how Keith Murray's been behaving lately? What do you think about how he's been talking about the ladies, you know, at this time in his life? And what do you think about Nori deciding that he wants to move forward with the interview on Drink Champs? All right. I'll speak to y'all soon. Bye.